What's up everybody, with the Madden Classic kicking off this weekend, I figured it would be a good opportunity to check out the latest developments in competitive Madden, and what better way right now than to look at the past two $1,000 Mudhead Friday night tournaments. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mudhead has started putting on tournaments every Friday night. I think it's going to be a weekly thing, uh, but for the past two weeks, they've put on a tournament where the grand prize was $1,000. And so over the past two weeks, Hollywood and Strafen have come out on top of these brackets that are really full of talent in terms of guys who, you know, make live events, perform well, are always at the top of the online leaderboards and stuff like that. Now, Strafen and Hollywood, two household names in the Madden community, you know, they certainly put on a show and displayed why they are still world-class players here in Madden 19. To start things off, each player ran a defense primarily based around the nickel normal formation, which has seen a huge uptick in popularity over the past several weeks with the rise of Nickel Blitz 2 and the different cover 4 variants. A Strafen chose to roll with the ever popular New England Patriots offensive playbook while Hollywood went with a more unorthodox selection in the Buccaneers playbook. Some of the stats here which are pulled from the final 4 of each bracket begin to paint a picture as to why these guys were able to come out on top. Going down the list, we can see that both were very diverse in their offensive play selection compared to the other competitors, but were rather middling when it comes to efficiency on a per play basis. Strafen did see nice production in per carry and per pass attempt averages, while both players were much more run heavy than their counterparts. Now, this number is likely skewed a little bit in that the other competitors who were knocked out likely needed to air the ball out down the stretch to try and win their games, but they were certainly still more ground focused than most. Looking at the bottom half categories, we can see how they were able to accrue advantages throughout their games. Both competitors were successful in maintaining manageable down and distance situations, with Hollywood ranking in the top three out of the eight players tracked for each down in terms of distance needed for a first down, with Strafen in the top half of the field as well in each category. While pretty middle of the road in terms of his second and third down scenarios, along with being below average at converting his third downs, Strafen put himself in the best fourth down scenarios out of the entire field and converted at a 100% clip. On the flip side, Hollywood being top three in each down and distance situation is no surprise if you look at his other stats. While he comes in at last in average depth of target, it is clear his plan was to stay on schedule and methodically move the ball down the field. This is even reflected in his most thrown routes being drags, posts, and then ends, hitches, and flats being all tied for third, uh, but pretty much all of those, besides posts, are generally shallow routes that thrive on taking what the defense is giving you. Now, this type of game management, coupled with them coming out at the top of the group in terms of turnover margin, as well, seemed to be a recipe for success. Now let's take a look at Hollywood's defense, which really set the tone early in his finals matchup with Clef. Now Clef to this point had looked like an unstoppable machine, and here he faces a fourth and short scenario and tries to flood the right side of the field with the Z spot setup. Now, Hollywood pulls out the perfect play call by bluffing a nickel blitz two setup pre-snap and falling back into what appears to be a cover six. Now with the press deep quarter matching the corner route, the inside deep quarter running with the streak, and the nickel back shooting out into a hard flat to cover the zig, Clef really has no options. Now Hollywood remains disciplined knowing that he does not have to chase towards the sideline, protecting against a potential backside crossing route or a playmaker from Clef. A Clef rolls right and attempts a playmaker, but Hollywood keeps his depth, allowing him to easily react. Clef has no option but to throw it up, resulting in an interception for Hollywood. Now on the flip side, Strafen was simply able to make plays when given the opportunity. In this case, he goes to a play in which he scored two of the three times he called it throughout the final four of the tournament. Now, this play is either Pat Slot out or tight end whip from the Patriots playbook as they both contain the post out route combo on the trip side and that's really the only way to distinguish this play from others. Now in this case, Plotky goes with a nickel blitz two setup while Strafen has the perfect counter to put Blocky's user in really a no win situation. Strafen goes with an out route wheel route combo on the left side between the far left receiver and the halfback where the out route occupies the flat zone and the wheel is able to cut up into the seam. Now Blocky does a great job at identifying this route combo early and shoots out to cover the halfback who will be open once he cuts up the field, but this is where Strafen actually wants him to go. With a cover two shell from the nickel blitz in the middle of the field wide open, the backside post route breaks wide open between the safeties resulting in an easy touchdown for Strafen. Now these were just a couple of examples of the playmaking potential of these two players centered around their timely play calling and capitalizing on opportunities whether to score or take the ball away. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys. I hope everyone enjoyed and that you guys are all excited for the Madden Classic over the next few days. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, take it easy.